I've been gaming since I was five, uh, when my dad brought home an Atari 2600 and I was hooked. Hi, this is Rachel and I'm here at Pixar Studios in Ken's wardrobe of the two-story life-size replica of Ken's dream house from Toy Story 3. So keep watching for some interviews with the cast. Hey, this is Rachel here at Capcom with Mike Schmidt. We're talking about killing zombies. That's right, we're talking about Dead Rising 2. Now I'm hearing about Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 2 Case Zero. What is the difference and why do I need both? Ah, so that's how you did it. Two outward facing cameras. Little ni Nintendo secret there. Hi, this is Rachel. I'm here with Max Kaufman of Bethesda. Now I fell in love with Hunted at GDC. What are you showing new at E3? Hey, this is Rachel. I'm here at WonderCon 2010 with some interviews coming up with the cast of the new Nightmare on Elm Street. So let's get right to it. Favorite part of playing Freddy Krueger? The favorite part of playing Fr Freddy Krueger was uh, getting to wield that glove. So how did you prepare for your role in Prince of Persia? Like, example, did you play any of the Prince of Persia video games? I went back to 6th century Persia and um, I spent a lot of time there. Hey, this is Rachel. I'm with the cast of Chuck. Now, I know at least two of you are big gamers, so is there a lot of gaming going on behind the scenes? Uh, well, way behind the scenes. <laughs> in the trailer, all, uh, all the spare time. Yeah. Josh, Josh uh, is able to keep up his healthy habit of video games. I heard a nasty, nasty rumor, so please What's put that? this rumor to rest. What? I heard that Cammy from Street Fighter was not in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Please tell me I'm wrong. Well, we love Cammy, okay? I mean, Cammy is a very iconic Capcom character, but I can neither confirm nor deny her existence in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I'm sorry. That breaks my heart. I need we to know. We love Cammy, though. I can't, you know, the, you'll soon, you know, you find out soon enough in the coming months, but, you know. Let's hope we see her. Yeah. She's way better than Chun-Li. So Fable 3 came out about a month ago. We've all played it, we all liked it, but we all felt there were just a few key elements of the game that was missing. So I put together my list and I polled you guys on Twitter and Facebook to find out what you guys thought was missing. And this is the top five things that would make Fable 3 better. I recently saw Bulletstorm for my third time. And although I love how gorgeous the environments are and I love the style of it, I'm still very worried about the actual overall gameplay aspect. Can you tell what I'm about to talk about? Hmm, let's see. Maybe it's my shirt? Or, I don't know, how about my necklace? Or maybe it's this huge, gigantic Mickey I have behind me that gives it away? Yep, I'm talking about Epic Mickey. I'm sure by now most of you have already seen the Bioshock Infinite gameplay trailer that came out about a week ago. It's pretty huge and I can't stop drooling over it. I'm a huge Bioshock 1 and 2 fan, so I might be a little bit overexcited for a game that's not scheduled to come out until 2012. Hi, I'm Rachel in LA, California, and welcome to E4ALL. So we got a little DDR going on behind me. Uh, the game that makes you look like a complete idiot. I love it. So here I am in the line for the new Metal Gear. Hey guys, who's ready to play some Metal Gear? Woo! So behind me, we have the Smash Brothers draw competition going. Free t-shirts, really cute booth face. What more could you ask for? Hey, this is Rachel. We're at Comic-Con 2009 and, well, there's lots of great cosplayers here and some not so great, so let's go check them out. No need to get violent yet. So you're an umbrella, right? You you wipe out zombies, right? Right. There's one right there. 